Hi, this video is here to help you convert between analogue and digital times. When we convert between analogue and digital times, sometimes the digital clock will be a 12 hour clock and sometimes it will be a 24 hour clock. Here we have an analogue clock showing an AM time. Remember, AM stands for ante meridian and means before noon. PM stands for post meridian and means afternoon. This clock shows the time 6.45 a.m., which is 6.45 in the morning. On a digital 12-hour clock, it would look like this. On a 24-hour digital clock, it would look like this. The 12-hour digital clock shows whether the time is a.m. or p.m., whereas on the 24-hour clock, it does not. Instead, a 24-hour digital clock will always show two digits to represent the hours. This analogue clock shows the time 6.45pm. On a digital 12-hour clock, it would look like this. On a 24-hour digital clock, it would look like this. The 12-hour digital clock shows us that the time is 6.45 in the evening as it shows us p.m. The 24-hour clock shows the time 18.45, as the time is 6 hours and 45 minutes after 12 o'clock midday. When converting a p.m. time on an analog clock to a 24-hour digital clock, we add 12 hours onto the time. We do not need to do this for a.m. times. Here we have a time displayed on an analogue clock. What time will it be in 15 minutes? Try and write your answer in 12 hour and 24 hour digital times. Pause here and have a go. Let's have a look at the answer. As we can see, the time will be 9.50 p.m. This would be written on a 12 hour digital clock like this and a 24 hour digital clock like this. Now let's have a go at a question. Alfie has ordered different times from earliest to latest. Do you agree with how Alfie has ordered them? If not, correct and explain any mistakes that he has made. Pause the video here and have a go. All finished? Well done, here's the answer. As you can see, Alfie didn't take into account whether the time was before noon or afternoon. Here is how the times should have been ordered. I think that you're ready for a challenge now. Take a look at this question. Anisha is delivering a present to her friend's house. She leaves her own house at this time. She arrives at her friend's house at this time. She spends 15 minutes at her friend's house before leaving for home. Her return journey takes the same amount of time. What time will she get home? Write your answer in 24 hour digital format. Pause the video now and have a go. All done? Here's the answer. Anisha leaves her house at 7pm and it takes her 25 minutes to get to her friend's house. She stays for 15 minutes, which means she would leave at 7.40pm. It takes her 25 minutes to get home, so she will arrive home at 5 minutes past 8pm. In the 24 hour digital format, the time would be written like this. <laughs> I hope you found this video useful. For more math support, check out our other maths concept videos available on the Twinkle website. Hi, this video is here to help you with converting units of time. Before we begin, let's remind ourselves of some important facts about units of time. Can you complete the missing spaces in these sentences? 
There are 60 seconds in one minute, 60 minutes in one hour, and 24 hours in one day. There are seven days in one week, and 52 weeks in one year. There are 12 months in one year. Now that we've recalled some of the key units of time, let's take a look at how to convert between seconds and minutes. There are 60 seconds in one minute. Therefore, to convert minutes to seconds, we multiply the number of minutes by 60. For example, to convert 3 minutes to seconds, we would multiply 3 by 60. 3 multiplied by 60 equals 180. 3 minutes equals 180 seconds. To convert 5 minutes and 7 seconds to seconds, we would multiply 5 by 60, which equals 300 seconds, and then add on the 7 seconds. 5 minutes and 7 seconds equals 307 seconds. To convert from seconds to minutes, we would divide the number of seconds by 60 to give us the total in minutes. For example, to convert 240 seconds to minutes, we would divide 240 by 60, which equals 4. 240 seconds equals 4 minutes. But what happens if we don't have a number of seconds that is exactly divisible by 60? For example, how would we convert 150 seconds to minutes? We would need to think how many 60s are in 150. We know that one lot of 60 equals 60. Two lots of 60 equals 120. Three lots of 60 equals 180. So in 150 seconds, we have two whole minutes, 120 seconds, and 30 seconds left over. So 150 seconds is equal to 2 minutes and 30 seconds. We can also write this as 2 minutes 30. Now it's your turn. Have a go at completing this conversion table. Pause the video now and have a go. Well done. Check your answers carefully and make any corrections that you need to. Now let's take a look at how to convert between days and weeks. We already know that there are seven days in a week. To convert from weeks to days, we would multiply the number of weeks by seven to give us a total number in days. For example, to convert eight weeks to days, we would multiply 8 by 7, which equals 56. 8 weeks equals 56 days. To calculate how many weeks there are in a number of days, divide the number of days by 7. If there is a remainder, this becomes days. For example, to convert 39 days to weeks, we divide 39 by 7, which equals 5 remainder 4. 39 days equals 5 weeks and 4 days. Now it's your turn. Try and complete this conversion table. Pause the video now and have a go. Well done. Check your answers carefully and make any corrections that you need to. Now let's take a look at how to convert between months and years. There are 12 months in a year. To convert years to months, we multiply the number of years by 12 and add on any remaining months to give us the total number of months. For example, to convert six years and three months to months, we would multiply six by 12, which equals 72. We would then add on the remaining three months. 72 add three equals 75. Six years and three months equals 75 months. We already know that there are 12 months in a year, so to convert months to years, we would divide the number of months by 12 to give us the number of years. If there is a remainder, this becomes the additional number of months. For example, to convert 38 months to years and months, we would divide 38 by 12 which equals 3 remainder 2. The remainder
remainder becomes the number of months. 38 months equals 3 years and 2 months. Now it's your turn to have a go. Some children's ages are recorded in months and some in years and months. Order the children by age order from youngest to oldest. Pause the video now and have a go. Well done. Check your answers carefully. By converting all of the ages to months, we can see that Aaliyah is the youngest, followed by Jack, then Mo, then Sarinda, Claire, and finally Ruby. I hope you found this video useful. For more math support, check out our other maths concept videos available on the Twinkle website. Hi, this video is here to help you solve problems involving calendars. Before we begin, let's remind ourselves how many days are in each month. A good way to help us remember this is to use the following rhyme. 30 days has September, April, June and November. All the rest have 31, except February, 28 days clear, or 29 in each leap year. Using the rhyme, try and fill in the following table. Pause here and try to work out how many days there are in each month. All finished. Here's the completed table to show how many days there are in each month. Calendars can be really useful to help us work out the dates of future or past events. For example, Jack's birthday is in December. Ruby's birthday is three months before Jack's. What month is Ruby's birthday? To solve this problem, we can use a calendar to help. Starting in December, we count back three months. So Ruby's birthday is in September. Take a look at this question. Today is the 17th of May. If sports day is in three weeks time, what date will this be? Again, we can use our calendar to help. Starting on the 17th of May, we count on three weeks. One week after the 17th of May is the 24th of May. Two weeks after the 17th of May is the 31st of May. And three weeks after the 17th of May is the 7th of June. So sports day is on the 7th of June. Now it's your turn. Take a look at this question. Some children are talking about when their birthdays are. If today is the 13th of July, work out when each birthday is. James's birthday is in two weeks time. Leon's birthday is eight days before Anisha's. Anisha's birthday was one week ago. Pause the video now and answer the question. All finished? Take a look at the answers. If we count on two weeks from the 13th of July, we get to the 27th of July. James's birthday is on the 27th of July. Before we can work out the date for Leon's birthday, we need to know the date of Anisha's birthday. If we count back one week from the 13th of July, we get to the 6th of July. Anisha's birthday is on the 6th of July. Now we know the date of Anisha's birthday, we can work out the date of Leon's birthday. If we count back eight days from the 6th of July, we get to the 28th of June. Leon's birthday is the 28th of June. I think that you're ready for a challenge now. Take a look at this question. Evie has football practice every four days. Her first session is on the first Wednesday of the month. Archie has football practice every Friday and Monday. On how many days will both Evie and Archie have football practice in November? Pause the video now to have a go at the question. All finished? Fantastic. Let's take a look at the answers. Evie has football practice every four days, starting on the first Wednesday of the month. So Evie has football practice 
on the 1st, the 5th, the 9th, the 13th, the 17th, the 21st, the 25th and the 29th of November. Archie has football practice every Friday and Monday during the month. So Archie has football practice on the 3rd, the 6th, the 10th, the 13th, the 17th, the 20th, the 24th and the 27th. This means that there are two days where both Evie and Archie have football practice, the 13th and the 17th of November. I hope you found this video useful. If you're looking for some more math support, check out our other maths concept videos available on the Twinkle website.